Dear students, please note down. These notes have been uploaded in the description of video. Please download your notes. Dear students, in today's lecture, I will clear different types of feathers in birds, especially in pigeon. Dear students, in case of birds, the feathers are of different types. First type is quills. Dear students, the quills which are present on wings as well as on tail. So the quills are of two types. The wing quills or ramages while the quills which are present on tail region are tail quills or rectrices. Second type of feathers are coverts as name indicates. Coverts, it means these coverts cover the, they fill the gaps present between the bases of wing quills and tail quills. So they produce a continuous area to oppose the buoyancy of air. Third type is contour or pina. These are contour feathers. As name indicates contour means these contour feathers present all over the body surface. Look here in this diagram. These are contour feathers or pina. The shape is pina like. The contour as these contour feathers cover the body surface to provide shape contour to the body. Dear students, this is the structure of contour or pina feather. Structurally, it resembles a quill. The short basal part is calamus and this central stem-like structure, it is rachis or it is aftershaft. And on this rachis, these weakly attached barbs are there. These are not so firmly attached. So, these barbs can be separated easily. Dear students, these contour, these pina feathers, which cover the body surface to provide shape means contour to the body. Next type is phylloplumes. Dear student, this is the structure of phylloplume. This feather is hair-like structure. So, also named hair feather. Phylloplumes or hair feathers. These phylloplumes or hair feathers lie beneath the contour or pina feathers. Here, calamus is short and this ratchet is elongated. It is long structure and its terminal part. It possesses a few weak terminal bars. Down feather, also named plumules, nestling down, permanent down, or dear students, these are powder downs. The down feathers, these are first form feathers which cover the body surface of a newly hatched bird. So these are named nestling down feathers. Dear students, this nestling down feather, this is the structure of a nestling down feather, which cover the body surface of a newly hatched bird. But dear students, these are partly replaced by these contour or pina feathers in certain birds like aquatic birds, ducks, swans, these down feathers become permanent feathers which provide thickening to the insulating layer. Dear students, this down feather, this plumule or nestling feather, 
it consists of a short calamus at its basal part a pore aperture is there and this one is inferior umbilicus through that inferior umbilicus the feather obtains nourishment here the rachis or after shaft that is greatly reduced dear students in case of this down feather here the greatly reduced rachis is present and this greatly reduced rachis possesses a group of soft elongated these soft elongated barbs are there but not down here in these barbs the barbules are greatly reduced and the barbules without any interlocking hooklets as in case of quills well developed barbs barbules interlocking hooklets are there but here the rachis is greatly reduced as well as on barbs the barbules are greatly reduced without any interlocking system these are also named powder downs dear students in certain birds these permanent feathers in adults produce powdery fragments for cleaning the plumes rectal bristles not now the rectal bristles this is the structure of rectal brister it is named so because these rectal bristles are present in certain birds like flycatcher like goat suckers in case of whip poor whales dear students this rectal bristle present at the base of bill beak or beak beak is named rectus these are fine needle like dear students these bristles are fine here needle like structures so these are named bristles rectal because present at the base of beak or rectus or bill bill here in case of this rectal bristle the short calamus is there at its basal part inferior umbilicus is there to obtain nourishment and this elongated fine needle like long stiff pointed rachis or shaft is there at the junction of this rachis and short calamus a tuft of rudimentary barbs are there without any barbules without any interlocking system but dear students note down these rectal bristles the fine needle like feathers which are present in certain birds like flycatchers goat suckers but not down in case of pigeon these bristles are absent this is all about different types of feathers in case of birds in case of pigeon dear students in case of pigeon important type is quills the quill feathers which are present on wings and tail so the quills are of two types the wing quills or ramages while the quills which are present on tail region are rectrices or tail quills second type is coverts dear students coverts and these covered feathers are present at the bases of wing quills and tail quills to fill the gaps present between the bases of wing quills and tail quills so they produce a continuous area to oppose the buoyancy of air next type is contour or pinna 
Not down, very important, very important, the contour or pinna. These small soft feathers which cover the body surface to provide shape to the body. That's why these are named contour, means to provide shape to the body. This is the structure of a contour or pinna feather. Here, the structure resembles a quill. Short calamus, elongated rachis is there. And on this rachis, the barbs are not so firmly connected. So, these barbs, weak barbs, can be separated easily. This is the structure of phylloplume, which is a hair-like feather. And these fine hair-like feathers are present just beneath the contour or pinna feathers. Dear students, the calamus is short in case of phylloplume, hair feather. And this is an elongated rachis is there. At its terminal part, a few weak barbs are there. This is the structure of important feather. This is down feather. Dear student, the down feathers which cover the body surface of a newly hatched bird. So these are named nestling down feathers. But these are replaced by contour or pinna feathers. In certain adults, like swimming bird. In ducks, in swans, they increase the thickness of insulating layer. While in case of other birds, these down feathers or permanent feathers produce powdery fragments for cleaning the plumes. And dear student, this is the structure of Rictal bristal. Rictal. Rictus means beak, bill. Because these rictal bristles, which are fine needle like, as the rachis is pointed, needle like elongated structure. And these are present at the base of bill, beak, or it is rictus. So these are named rictal bristles which are present in certain birds, not in case of pigeon. It means these rictal bristles are absent in pigeon. And dear students, this rictal bristle having short calamus, this long pointed needle-like rachis or shaft, and at the junction of this rachis and calamus, a group of soft rudimentary barbs are there. Look here, in this down feather, short calamus is there, but elongated rachis is absent. Here, the rachis is greatly reduced and at the terminal part of this greatly reduced rachis, a group of fine, elongated, flexible barbs are there. And these barbs, which possesses greatly reduced barbules, but the barbules without any interlocking system. This is all about different types of feathers in birds, in pigeons. 